My name is Pius Anayu Demezwe. I'm a Canadian, born uh, in Nigeria. Man of God, it's a privilege and honor to talk to you today. Um, my question centers on uh, my business. Every business I've done in the last 20 years, I'll come close, close the deal. When they come to getting the money, failure. The last one now that brought me to uh, Kakande Ministry is I've done a business in uh, 2019. From 2019, the company keep promising me they're gonna release my money. Until now, they have not released it. And this is the big money we're talking about because I am in the financial industry. And then second problem is marital problem. This is a grave. This one looks like uh, the, my father's uh, palace. He passed away in 1998. He was buried beside the, his uh, palace. And my mom also buried just uh, outside the palace. After his death, three people rose for the kingship. Yes. Yes, man, I confirmed that, that uh, when my father passed away, uh, they called my eldest brother to, to, to take his place. He refused. So the second one refused. And I myself have lived outside the country for over 30 years. So I'm not available. So they waited for so long and they gave it another family to take the kingship right so now. So this is the biggest problem now. Thank God for this gentleman in Jesus' mighty name. The wife too is being delivered in Jesus' mighty name. You are free. My name is Desmond from the United States. Mm. It's just unbelievable. You make Jesus real. Like God bless. We believe in Jesus, but you make it real. Like, I feel like I could move from the United States and come and leave you so that I can listen to the word of God from you. You only need to take Jesus. My name is Agnes Nekesa. Man of God, I would like to know the root cause of my business failure. Why don't you talk about the baby issue first and you jump to the business? Yes, man of God, I remember. My name is Agnes Nekesa from Kenya. I remember I was nurturing my elder sister's son. I was still a teenager and I was nurturing him. Mm -hmm. And the boy was sick for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I was the one taking care of the boy. Mm -hmm. Around the evening, I saw him changing, uh, the eyes changing and color. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't understand then that the boy has passed on. So I kept on uh, doing like this, uh, buying him to sleep. So but then when the elders came, they told me, Agnes, the baby is dead. Is dead. You need the peace. First of all, the baby who died in your hands, that one was really a curse in your life. Up to today, you dream that the same baby is in your hands. <laughs> it's true, man of God. Whatever you do doesn't prosper. It's true, man of God. In the dream, I, I see this baby. And that has made me as a teacher, if you mess with a child, I feel so bad. I feel like I'll just strangle it because I, that thing haunts me. You wanted to disappear? Yes, man of God. If not to kill yourself, to commit suicide. Yes, man of God. If I don't pray for you, this will be the last time to see you because you're going to commit suicide. There was a time I, I felt so alone. I just boarded a matatu. I went far away. I just wanted to disappear in the mountain, never to, to come again. And what happened to your stomach? What happened to my stomach is that I, I used to have mental pains. I thought it's just pains, but then they developed in fibroids. I was operated on Machakos, Bishop Kyoko Hospital in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And they removed all my productive systems. Sir. The children issue, what was happening to you, while you were there as a, a kid, yes, the, man the of woman God. who worked on you, yes, man of God. touched inside your womanhood. Yes, man you of God. And mm. did like a Yes, man of God. And removed all the children issue from you and put in a cavera and took it. Yes, man of God, that experience has made me feel so bad when I remember it, someone touching me. I was young then. Ever since that time, you feel a pain here. Yes, man of God. Even as we speak, man of God. And before you 
go to your place there is a river yeah there is a river and uh, that river my my mama took me to that river when i was a small girl and there were there was an animal being killed in that river and uh, i was wondering what this animal is being killed in a river i was then a small girl so if you want to know all the causes this river and this is the river of which you were going to drown yourself because of the witchcraft done in the river yes sir and that is why all these troubles happen on you and that is why you is is man of god that is true Jesus mighty name. A woman who was removed spiritually given to to demons and that is why she was going to die in the river and become a wife of demons. She always dreamed that she's at the wedding. This true man of God is true. Many a times I dream at the wedding many times. And she doesn't see the husband. Yes, yes to man of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And there is a fine lady, young girl, you have a man in the dream. That man appear to you, come to sleep with you. Come be a move. My name is Bridget Mayenge from Zambia. What the man of God says is true. I always dream of a man having an affair in my dream, having wedding. Also, I'm having babies in my dream. Come. Because you were married to demons. Receiving her deliverance in Jesus' mighty name. The mighty name of Jesus. They've out. This has disturbed her relationship. Already three men run away from her. Go and come back no more. In Jesus holy name. My names are Bridget Mayenge from Zambia. I know about the three men I've got a first boyfriend. We dated almost 3 years. Later on he changes his mind. The second one we dated almost 6 months. It was also the same thing. The third one we dated 2 months. He said I've got another woman I want to marry. I can't go ahead with you. What the man of God said is true. My name is Rebecca Mavisa Sabori. I'm from Canada. The problem that brought me here is stagnation for me and my siblings and lack of peace in the family. Are you together? Yes, this is my nephew and this is my friend. He's from the UK. We came together from Canada. Yes, this is where we grew up. This is the road that goes to the primary school that we went to and this is one of the main roads that goes to the city. So this is the block of flats, it's the first block of flats amongst a complex of other flats. The issue is always the misunderstandings. Your family, okay, we can start with the other woman besides. <laughs> 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 I confirm the prophecy. Don't mention names. Yes, I'm not mentioning the name. We had a situation where my mother died in 2005. My father then died in 2018. So he was living alone and this neighbor is the one who was assisting our our father at the time that he was unwell. And when my father was critically ill, Uh, she called my sister to do a deep cleaning in the house because he had suffered a stroke. They took out a lot of um, traditional medicine. Witchcraft. So, have I answered your question? Yes, They men of God. They could put your name, your whatever, da 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 da. And bottles that had some. Some of them had our names in it, and all sorts of things. The mighty name Jesus. Listen. 
Father, I command the spirit of killing, stealing, destruction. I say, go. They go out! All the time you feel like disappearing. Yes, men of God. You say, I cannot commit suicide like these people here. But can I change where I'm staying? What is going on? I don't know. I don't understand the things. What is going on? I yes, men of God, I was even telling my friend that sometimes I switch off my WhatsApp and delete it because I just want to be away from the world. I confirm this prophecy is true. My name is Kulakwashi Chaparaza. I'm originally from Zimbabwe. I live in Canada together with Rebecca. And I confirm she's always telling me she wants to be alone. She wants to switch off her phone. She wants to disconnect all the time. She want to commit suicide, but she said, no, oh God, no, 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 no. How would they hear that I've committed suicide? God, no, God, no. Yes, I, I have attempted to commit suicide many years ago when my marriage fell apart. Three times. I did. And when I failed the suicide, I focused on my children. I have two daughters. Come, 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 come. And the back issue. Yes. Banya. <laughs> Do you still feel the back? My back is feeling perfectly fine. Thank you, Jesus, for my healing. Thank you. Now I can go back to the gym. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, men of God. Thank you. Thank you for praying for me and my and, family. And you know that colored man. Yes, men of God. Uh, I went on a few dates with the colored man, but I let him go. Because you should let him go. Why? Okay. You didn't have all such the back problem. But since the colored man... Yeah. Men of God, what you're saying is true. Don't do that again. Ren Katsenza. I'm from, from England and originally from Zimbabwe. Uh, what I'm experiencing here is amazing. Mm. I wanted to come here and see for myself, mm. and I've witnessed it. My auntie there, she's the one who, who, who said, let's go, Rain, let's go. Mm. And she kept on sending me videos. Our first three videos I saw, when I, I subscribed, they kept on coming, but I'll just see, watch a little bit, and I said, no, I don't want to spoil it. I want to go and see myself. But now I'm here. I believe Jesus is real. Is it true? It is real true. I believe. Which brethren, deliverance can God for this gentleman? Brother, have I touched you? No, you don't. You didn't touch me. But I'm going to touch him. It's real. It's real power. Jesus is alive. Okay, rise up. Say Jesus. Jesus. Give me the grace. Give me the grace. Please stand up. Thank you, men of God. Thank you for delivering me. I know it's real power. Jesus is real. So the child issue. The prophet is true. The lady ran away with my daughter, and I've been looking for my daughter. She's now 16. Now let me pray that the daughter come back. All these are receiving a prayer for their deliverance. Thank you, man of God. My name is Winston Wamutove from Malawi. I'm having problems at work, and equally, I've got this another issue at home whereby we are always in problems with my wife. I would like to confirm that uh, at home, there is this big house which is for our mother and there is a road that runs and passes close to the house and uh, it goes through this one and then there is a grave which is this side, there is a stream this side. Yes. Yeah. Maybe my brother also is here, he can help me. Yes, man of God, I'm Peter Mamutowe, a brother to Winston. Mm. I can confirm that uh, this is our home, this is our mother's house, and this is our aunt, uh, this is our, okay. our second mother. Mm. As we go this side, this is our third mother. Long time ago, 
This is the story. They used to come from the mountain and do sacrifice here. Yes, man of God. At the river. Yes, man of God. So these demons now come up to attack the house. Yes, man of God. To attack the family. Yes, man of God. I confirm that. And some other people, they get so frightened. Yes, man of God. I confirm that. As if they are mad, but not completely mad. No. Yes, we have uh, we have our sister who is in the, has epilepsy, and we have uh, a brother who suffered from like madness, and we have the other brother who was who got um, operation from the brain. This is the problem. Whenever you go, you do this, you do that. You dream that you have gone back. Yes, man. Of, yes, man of God. I go Either that. you have reached or you are going down now to go back here. We have that, that dream now and then, man of God. Yes, I confirm that, man of so God. So this is the issue now, you people. You need to be driven out of these circumstances. Six miles from that place, there's a quarry. There's a quarry whereby there's a big uh, mining that are crushing stones there. They have now found out that they are minnows. Yes. Uh, to go be the glory. Yes. So, even where your house, you are claiming, is seated, they are minnows. And it is very expensive to go and ask what has happened. Go and get your money. Go, go and get your money. Go, 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 go. I'm Elida Mwanza Banda from Chipata, uh, Zambia. My question, man of God, I would like to know the root cause of sicknesses, especially from my mother's side uh, of the family. The family lived at a, a place when it rains, it really become very cumbersome. The place that you are talking about, man of God, is in Chadiza, where my mother comes from. It's on a hilly place, so when the rains uh, fall, the, there's usually, it becomes a bit waterlogged. Even to reach the place, you cannot even reach because it's too much. Mad. And listen to this. This is my story. This is my song. Where are you people draw water to drink? Yes, man of God. The water is at the rain season contaminated. I hear you, man of God. With the minnows. I hear you, man of God. These particles enter the water and they disease the family. All the family, most of them who live that place, almost they have the same disease. I hear you, man of God. It's a hilly place, it's a mountain that is rocky. Yes. Then there are, there are, there are trees this side. Then this is my late grandmother's house. Then there is a road. Then there, there was a well here, but now they've stopped using that well. But the way you have said it, that because they used to drink from here, no wonder because of those sicknesses. Because man of God, my mother, uh, she's been sick for the last 45 years. She's Be, com Because of the water. I hear you, man of God. But let me pray for you and the family. Not only you, but also the family. Leader from Zambia receiving this special prayer for her deliverance and the entire family. Be free in Jesus' holy name. Father, thank you for the solution in Jesus' holy name. I will give you holy water to take. My name is Mara Kuverwa from Canada, originally from Namibia. I dream the same dreams like I'm on my way, like I'm going somewhere. But in the middle, I can't see where I'm going anymore. First of all, your relationship issue. 
as a question mark. Men of God, what you said is true about the relationship. Uh, since my husband passed on, I didn't have a stable relationship. There's no problem. Jesus is for you. He died for you. <laughs> Father, clear her in Jesus' name. That darkness go. We are here to walk from darkness to light. Amen. Yes? Amen. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I'm simply here. That you may take me from darkness to a greater light. Thank you, Jesus. I'm reading 4, 14, and 15, and 16 of Matthew. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea, beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. Mm. And upon those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. To God be the glory. My name is Christopher Chipoma, coming from Zambia. The rejection uh, issue. Man of God, what you have said is true about the rejection. Because my mom divorced when I was six years old. So my father went just like that. So I've been just struggling for, for me to... The spirit of rejection. Thank you, man. That too is true. Much. It's true, man too of God. Much. That prophecy is true, man of God. I this confirm. Yes. Christopher from Zambia receiving his deliverance. Father, I open more doors in Jesus' name. Rise up. At that flat area, you have already got the land. The road goes like this, and this one goes like this. Over there, you have got a very big land. Yes, that is in Lundazi, mm. when I was uh, a contact farmer for a certain company. It is already done, it is already, if I were you. Okay, let me pray for you for the, for the hotel issue. I have seen you building a hotel. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, man of God. I received because that. Because at the time you went to the hotel at the corner, they mistreated you people. Yes. And they say, one day I'll build a hotel. Oh God, help me. Uh, yes, I went to the hotel man of God. They mistreated me, it's true. Once a beloved daughter. Yes, man of God. They loved you too much. Yes, man of God. I'm Conceptor Anyango from Kenya. When I was growing up, very young, I was loved by my father. I have a biological father and a father who, who brought me up. I was rejected by my biological father, but I was really loved by my father who brought me up. Yes. So the, when I grew up at this age, around 15, 15. years or so, yes. now my biological father came up. Then he told me, now I was not, now that's the time I knew that I was not the, the biological daughter of the family I was brought up. I really felt bad because I was really loved by up my to father. Today? Up to today. You but my never my to peace. Yes. This is what is troubling you. Yes, it is really troubling me. Have peace. Israel, Israel Vanda from South Africa, Eastern Cape. Uh, but marriage failure, business failure, everything is failing. At my uh, uh, family. You are uh, from a big family. They are practicing that, but I'm running away. And they are? I'm, I'm, they are traditional things, slaughtering cows and everything. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm running away. Come, when they come, my friend, for here. Sangoma, go. My name is Deborah Michelle. I'm from Lipombo. 
I came here because I have a challenge. My son is using drugs. Let me answer you with a question. Come, the man at the pillar. Come. Mm -hmm. Your son who is using drugs has no peace. And look here. Men of God, what you are saying is true. The men brought in front of me. It's similar to the father to my son, so I confirm the it's son who is, uh, taking drugs, yes. So, because of what happened between you and your husband, or the father of the kid, the boy has no peace, hence, taking drugs. <laughs> there was an old man. This man was touching witchcraft. I can um, confirm that one was my grandfather. And he was touching? Yes, I can confirm that. He said, you people, to be okay, you must perform those things. True. So you, you refuse to, to perform them. Yes, man of God. That is why you dream that they are even putting you on chains like this. Yes, man of so God. So you and your wife, you have no peace? I can confirm that, man of God. I have no peace. So let me ask Jesus to give you peace at home. Father, give him peace and a good job in Jesus' soul. My name is Bigim Vula. I'm from Ndola, Zambia. I would like to know, man of God, why I keep on going through the same problem. Once upon a time, you people lived at a, a busy road. I remember man of God. You branched like this, and that was the hope. You could always cross to the other side. So this is the place where the trouble came from. Yes, man of God, what you're saying is true. I remember very well in Chelsea, where I was staying, where I grew up with my dad. It was just across the road. Yes. From the main tarmac, uh -huh. then you branch off yes. going inside. Uh -huh. I remember you. At eight years, there was a terrible accident over there. Man of God, what you are saying is true. I remember very well when I was young, the 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 had an accident along the road where I used to stay. The things were stolen from the people who got the accident, and they were shared. This is why you dream eh, terrible. I have bad dreams, man of God. Because the family okay. shared the property of the dead who died of the accident. Father, remove also this accident from him in Jesus' holy name. Be free. You are coming back to give your testimony. The old lady refused you people. Sure. I'm Moses Piri from Lusaka, Zambia. Man of God, what I said is very true. The old lady refused us. When my, my father died in Zimbabwe, we are taken to the village of my mother. Now, when we reached the village, the old lady refused us. So, ever since that time, you have never got peace. And the stomach issue, if not prayer, will kill you. Man of God, what you are telling me is true. Because I've got a problem with the stomach and I've got no peace. Father, I will remove the rejection. Be free in Jesus' name. My name is Julia Tirushuri from Who Tanzania. tried your level best for the relationship or the marriage issue? Who is this? My husband. Your husband. He's not a bad man, but you have tried. Yes, man of God. Because you don't want to marry here and marry there. Yes, man of God. This marriage, I've been trying to keep it because I love this man so much. So we have been trying to talk some issues and we have business working together. So for him, he was telling me to go to Canada. Me, I want to stay in Tanzania. This is now the issue. You don't know what to decide. Yes. Because you don't want to part. Yes, man of God. Don't worry, everything will be okay. 
your business will be okay, gentlemen. Don't worry, your marriage will be okay. It is well. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Jen Kisongochi from Kenya. Uh, in, our, in our family, we, ladies, we don't get married. Even my sister is here. We are five, and all of us are, no, are no, because not married. Because of the tall man who had uh, marriage issues, marry and remarry, you people, uh, it is not easy. There was a tall man. He married one, two, three, four, five women. The tall man is our dad. He married five wives. And our mom was the second wife. Receiving deliverance in Jesus' name. My name is Ivan Zimbasobi. I come from Zimbabwe. Man of God, uh, my question is, my life is failing, my business is failing, my finances, my marriage. Once upon a time, you prepared to marry. Yes, man of God, I confirm that to there be true. There was a misunderstanding between you and the family where you're going to marry. Yes, man of God, that is very, very true, man of God. They tried their level best to see that you don't marry their daughter. Yes, man of God. And right now, they've taken her away. He's also dating another man. So you are being troubled in your heart. I confirm, man of God. She looks like my second wife. What happened, man of God, is uh, I had a problem with my first wife. Then uh, I got married to the second wife, who looks exactly like, yeah. Now where is she? She's at home. Uh, she's having a new baby. Have your freedom in Jesus' soul. <laughs> Have you left him, the man? No. You are still with him? Yes, I'm still with him. So he, who gives the, the trouble, you or him? My name is uh, Irene Asiko from Kenya. Yeah. What man of God is saying is true. I have troubled my husband because I felt that maybe he's not the right man for me. I got married to him as a second wife. So uh, I really wanted to know. Or first John. For if our heart condemns us, God is greater than our heart and knows all things. The other man has a wife. Why don't you leave the man? That is why I ask the question. Before you tell me anything, have you left him? Because this is what you were supposed to do. My name is Masuzio. Good. Masuzio. The tall man, you left him? Yes, man of God. The tall man that you are talking about is a man that um, I had gone into a relationship with after my husband and I went on separation. You're asking him, will you not disappoint me? Yes, man, of course. You're asking so many questions whether it can be a marriage, but you too, you know, it cannot stand. Yes, yes, man, man of God. I was telling my sister, the one you mentioned that she's your daughter, mm. I was telling her that I feel this man is not for me. Okay, come. You know, though he's possessive, is what, but I feel he's not no. for me. Thank no. you, man okay, of God. Let's... <laughs> Good morning, church, once again. Good morning. Man of God, the prophecy is true. And I'm very happy because I told you that it won't work with that man. You told her. And it's not for, that man is not for her. It's not good for her. This man will never work for you. He has one, two, three, four, five women. Pastor Dennis Daniel from Tanzania. Me and my brother, my young brother, the two of us, we have been experiencing stagnation. Your issue is big, and the handling should be polite. It mm -hmm. involves documents <laughs> concerning the heritage issue. I confirm that prophecy, man of God. Uh, my parents, they have been uh, struggling, a conflict between documents like this land is 
they've been quarreling. This land is for my, my mom. My mom bought that land, but my father took the documents and uh, hid them. So it's been a, a big, very big issue. Now they're together in the house. There's no peace. It's been destroying, um, making everyone stressed out. Sir. Father, help in, in Jesus' name. Thank you. The man who tried you brought you problem. My name is Nyasha Zamba. I am from Zimbabwe. The man that tried me uh, was my boyfriend. I just dumped him. I think it's a month now. Uh, he was all trying me, saying he wants to sleep with me, so I, I didn't want the relationship. And also I realized that she could be a married man, so I dropped the relationship. Since that time, you are like a mad woman. Since that time, I don't know, I have so much confusion. Madness go. <laughs> My name is Amildred Ngambo Kaptula. I come from Solwezi. This is mental issue. Yes, man of God. In 2014, I was mentally disturbed. <laughs> Being safe from this mental illness. They curse you to be a drunkard and die <laughs> as a drunkard. My name is Kepa Simpukwe. I'm from Zambia. Beside me, she's my mother. Okay. A uh, man of God. What you have said is very true. It has been a, a problem to me, drinking beer. I've been running. I was given two churches. I'm an evangelist. But immediately I start, I just find myself drinking beer. <laughs> Members will go just like that. You drink beer and you go, you preach the gospel. Okay, let's hear from your mom. Man of God, I'm Miss Beauty Mulanda from Luapula. This is my son. My son is very drunkness, and he got many loans. He got nothing with his salary. He drank it. He's a teacher, he's a mathematician, but he do nothing. Loans only, Kaloma all over, this no. man. That's why the young brother sponsors us to, to come here to see you. Because, Thank you very much, man of God. Because of the land issue, they never want them to get he was cast to be a drunker i want to confirm with the prophecy about the land uh i bought a plot but uh it has been uh, i've received a lot of issues over the same plot uh the chief i was called to say no we don't want you to be there but i forced myself to be at uh, that place okay let me remove this drunkardness and you get your own. Drunkardness, go and come back no more. Go and get your land. And a good post. My name is Nixon Owino Wendo. I come from Kenya Kisumu. Mm. My problem is the father's home. There is a home in the mountain. Kuna nyumba pale kwa mlima. Yes. So this is where witchcraft is performed. Hapo ndipo uchawi inafanywa. Which is following you people. Ambaye inafuata nyinyi watu. Ile kitu prophet na mamia amesaa jua hii maneno ya ile kitu ya kuamlewa nyumba ya mama yangu hiyo what the man of god said is true that house on a hill belongs to my mother kwa sababu mama yangu mdogo napenda watu wa nini uchawi uchawi hizi because my mother who is the second wife to my father loves which doctors na naona kama hizo vitu nafuata mimi kwa sababu kama anafanya hata kazi hawezi endelea mzuri and those are the things that are following me because any work I do does not prosper. Naenda kuombea kidogo. I'm going to pray for you. Kila kitu kitaenda vizuri. Everything will go well. Na maneno ya kujenga nyumba hapa. Terrorizing 
is going on for him in Jesus' name. Rise up. Inuka, inuka. Ulisema nataka kusikia hiyo nguvu. Umesikia hiyo nguvu? Afia na nasikia nguvu nyingine. Ule kakande mimi naenda kule nataka nisikie hiyo nguvu zake anazitoa wapi? Hapo ndo. Hayo Jesus. Jesus from yes. Zambia. Yes, but should you talk about her or we shouldn't? We can talk about her. It's okay. Because you are a tough man. I'm a tough man. Yes. Okay. You don't compromise. Okay. Who it is? That, that's my wife. Oh, I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about another one. What you say that I'm a tough man? Yes, I am. My former wife, mm. we had a problem, and then she went to court and we divorced. Then I married this one. You say, I don't want to hear you, I don't want to see you, I never mention even my name. So this is the issue. Even now, this one doesn't have peace with you. Yes, man of God, what you said is true. He doesn't give you whatever he promised you. No man, no, even clothes, he said you don't you have anything. Why you did not eh. make a business for her? Uh, man of God, the problem with her is, she doesn't look after me. She doesn't cook for me. Yes, this is what. Man of God, what you are saying is true. I promise that when I have the money, I will give you the money so that you can start if running your business. doesn't look after you, how come you are smarter than her? Uh, man of God, we live like cat and rats in the house. She doesn't cook for me, she doesn't wash my clothes. You don't cook for him. I cook for him. Man of God, please help me. I'm suffered. Please. <laughs> when he married me, he promised me, no, I, I, I'll even give you us. the money. He, but he promised he, you even an hour. Yes, but uh, nothing, nothing. If I want something, I, I sell okay. my clothes so that I him? get what... Uh, Do you love him? Yes. Everybody is going on for this couple in Jesus' name. You know, Jesus okay. Christ getting involved in their issue. Okay, office, give me one thousand dollars. Give the woman to get <laughs> Now, go and do business. One thousand dollars. Thank you. Thank you, man of God. Thank you so much.